2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 first test, luxury at a fair price. Pros. Improved dimensions with more cabin and cargo space. Significant upgrades to standard equipment. Quiet interior and great ride quality. Cons. Sluggish initial acceleration from a stop. Inconsistent electric motor boost. New traffic sign assist needs refinement. The Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 returns for its 2023 model year with a completely redesigned interior and exterior with more cargo space, new powertrain, and standard equipment that collectively can't be found across its three primary competitors, the BMW X3 xDrive 30i, Audi Q5 45, and Lexus RX 350. On top of the desirable base model, the optional exclusive and pinnacle trims are still in the realm of affordable and all three versions of the GLC 300 should put this this midsize subs into proper contention. All new powertrain. The 2023 GLC 300 comes with a new 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder producing 255 horsepower and 295 pound-foot of torque, up 22 pound-foot over its predecessor. A 48-volt mild hybrid system is now standard with the motor sandwiched between the engine and the 9-speed automatic transmission. It can pitch in bursts of 23 horsepower and 148 pound-foot of electric boost, though the new GLC 300 is no quicker than the outgoing model. With the available formatage all-wheel drive, this combination propelled our GLC to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, completing a quarter-mile run in 14.2 seconds. The 2020 GLC 300 formatage made the same runs in 5.4 and 14.1 seconds. What gives? The 2023 model weighed in 479 pounds heavier than the previous generation that we tested. The 48-volt motor boosts power only intermittently. In our quarter-mile times and normal highway passing maneuvers, sometimes it came in, sometimes it didn't. We couldn't discern a pattern or condition that caused it to activate, and you'll likely only notice when you see the boost active message on the digital gauge cluster rather than feeling it. The system does at least deliver an increase in fuel economy with the all-wheel drive model's combined rating now landing at 26 miles per gallon, up from 24 miles per gallon. Suspension and handling. Our test vehicle came equipped with the optional AMG line package, which gave it perforated front brake discs and 20-inch AMG wheels wrapped with high-performance summer tires, bizarrely named Continental Eco Contact. Impressively, the GLC 300 managed an average lateral acceleration of 0.87 g on the skid pad and completed our figure 8 course in 26.7 seconds with an average of 71 centimos. The upgraded rotors brought it from 60 miles per hour to a stop in 109 feet. It might not be the quickest SUV you'll ever drive, but it isn't marketed as a dedicated performance model, an AMG model is inevitable, but there's no release date yet, and it weighs 4,372 pounds. That's respectable performance we attribute to the upgraded brakes, the tires, and the fine-tuning of the transmission, steering, and throttle in sport mode. Other drive modes on the GLC 300 include Eco, a customizable individual, and off-road available on formatted models. Bigger and quieter. The new exterior stretches the vehicle 2.4 inches and keeps the width of the body unchanged. The extra length contributes to an extra 2.5 cubic feet of cargo space for a total of 21.9 cubic feet. It's an improvement, but still far below the 29.6 cubic feet of the 2023 Lexus RX. Mercedes-Benz emphasizes the effort engineers and designers put into reworking the shape and position of the mirrors as an effort to reduce the drag coefficient from 0.31 to 0.29. The redesigned front end and body contours contribute to the improved aerodynamics while modernizing the overall look of the GLC 300. The result of all this body sculpting is improved fuel economy and an incredibly quiet interior. The standard laminated windshield, insulated hood, and acoustic foam-filled body reduce noise, as well, at the expense of added weight. For an even quieter ride, the Pinnacle package includes glass treated for acoustic and heat insulation all around. 
Mercedes-Benz didn't quantify the noise reduction, but subjectively it is remarkably quiet. We complained about the coarse engine noise in the outgoing GLC 300. The new engine clatters like a diesel still, but the noise is largely kept out of the cabin. You'll likely only notice it with the windows open. All new interior. The new GLC 300 packs a lot of value into its standard offerings. It comes with an 11.9-inch center touchscreen and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. Wireless phone charging and wireless phone mirroring with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay come standard, along with heated front seats, keyless start, keyless passive entry, 40-20-40 folding rear seats, a sunroof, and ambient lighting with 64 colors. Buyers should find no shortage of power with three USB-C charging ports standard, with the option to upgrade to six 100W USB-C charging ports. The standard leather steering wheel and center stack are loaded with capacitive touch controls. In the past, these touch-sensitive controls in vehicles have been poorly executed, but they function well and are intuitive to use in the GLC. Some might not love the lack of physical climate control buttons, but drivers who take the time to learn the GLC's features might find a friend in the voice-activated MBUX infotainment system. Summoned by saying, hey, Mercedes, the smart assistant can control climate, heated seats, music volume, and navigation, and it will give news updates or answer questions about local areas. Voice activation was reliable even with music volumes above a comfortable conversation level. Unfortunately, MBUX couldn't open and close the panoramic sunroof our model had. That seems like an intuitive use for hands-free control of interior functions, much more useful than controlling music volume. But the capacitive strip on the roof worked flawlessly to open or close it with a swipe forward or backward. Driver aids. Mercedes-Benz continues to pack value into the base model with blind spot monitoring, driver attention monitoring, automated emergency braking, and the parking damage detection system all as standard equipment. Opting for the exclusive trim makes the driver assistance package, a surround view camera system, and the Guard 360 security system standard. Upgrading further to the Pinnacle trim gives drivers a head-up display, Parktronic parking assist, and an intelligent lighting system that projects relevant information and warnings onto the road. We asked Mercedes-Benz what exactly it projected, but we didn't get a straight answer, and the available data varies by region. It can display a stop warning in the dark when a stop sign might be less visible. Our model was not equipped with this feature, so we can't say whether it works. The transparent hood, available with formatted models displays an image of the ground beneath the engine bay, useful for spotting obstacles and testing the limits of the advertised off-road capability. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.